This is the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. Ever wish you could re-listen to your favorite interview or segment? Do you enjoy hearing older shows for the first time in years? Then the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less is just what you need. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. Greetings and welcome to another edition of the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. I am your host, John Solberg, and today's edition is being brought to you by The Butcher Shop. The Butcher Shop is home of the A9 Master Kobe Briskets, where they are always hand-picked. This father and son team has operated this retail meat market in Pensacola, Florida for the past 15 years. Kevin and Jordan ship nationwide to the biggest names in barbecue. The A9 Brisket won both sides of the American Royal. That happened in 2019. They also ship some of the finest prime, dry-aged Australian Wagyu and Japanese Wagyu steaks to people just like you and me who aspire to be the kings of their backyards. The Butcher Shop always has Berkshire, Compart Duroc, Allegiance Duroc, and Prairie Fresh all-natural pork in stock, and again, it is always hand-picked just for you. Are you into any wild game items? What about some bison, some venison, some elk, some ostrich, maybe even some camel? Have you been searching for those 10 to 12 pound big, big boneless turkey breasts featured on Hotter Barbecue, right? The Butcher Shop has them in stock and they are ready to ship to you today. So whether you're looking for the best competition, briskets, ribs, or pork butts, or you just wanna have a better option to cook in the backyard, give the Butcher Shop a call. 850-458-8782. That's 850-458-8782. Or you can get all of them on their Facebook page, facebook.com slash the butcher shop. Shop is spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. And this is what's going on in today's show. From June the 29th, 2010, Greg's going to catch up with season two pitmaster host, Kevin Roberts. They're going to talk about boiled ribs. Can't make this up. Let's go. All right, Central Lights, as we all know from the interview I did last week with John Marcus, Barbecue Pitmasters is going with a complete overhaul on the format side this season, season two. And on top of the teams, there is a host to facilitate the events, and he happens to be my next guest. He's a very accomplished chef, very successful restaurateur. He's made several TV appearances and also does a college circuit tour as well. So let's go ahead and jump over to the hotline. Joining me now, new host of Pitmasters season two, it's Kevin Roberts. Kevin, how are you tonight, buddy? <laughs> and of course, no, I know nothing about barbecue. <laughs> oh, are, are you pre? Are you uh, are you doing the preemptive strike? Dude, uh, let, me, let me tell you something. We filmed our first episode. I almost got killed by John and Myron Nixon already. Yes, I mean, geez, I give one option out of like six years of doing this. One option. You know what's so funny though? Six years ago, I did this, and I was talking about doing mustard on my ribs. Back in the day, no one was doing it back in the day. Yeah. And people would look at me like I'm insane. <laughs> now I go on like websites and stuff and everybody's like doing almost like a pre like wet rub with mustard. I'm like, oh, geez. Yeah. So uh, I'm hoping in five to six years, someone wants to boil a rib. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I got, dude, I, I just got killed. I got killed last week on set. All right. So let me, let me just do this. Well, you know, I have to ask this question because obviously I'm representing the fanatical barbecue fan base. Uh, and, and especially since most of that uh, fan base was fans of how the format was of season one. Uh, but, you know, the question obviously everybody wants to know is you go ahead, you do that segment on the Today Show of Memorial Day. And you would mention obviously about the boiling of the ribs. Uh, you know, I'm not so much uh, a non-believer myself of the yellow mustard. Maybe some people might have thought you put a lot of yellow mustard on it, but certainly a lot of people, as you said, using yellow mustard as a rub adherent. Uh, the other thing that people seem to take issue with is with the fact that you said you could cook a rack of ribs in 40 minutes at like 225 degrees. Uh, so, I mean, you, you've kind of drawn the ire from some of the uh, the fanaticals, uh, but I mean, is it more of a thing where, look, lesson learned, you just keep moving, doing what you're doing, or is are some of you like, man, you know, who the hell are you? Look what I'm doing. No, 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 dude, I am such a huge barbecue fan, you know, right off the top. I, I, first of all, I've never said I'm a barbecue master. I'm not, you know, I'm not entering these contests. <laughs> now, I've been to Memphis and May the last five years in a row. So I was there when Myron actually won, I think, 2007. Um, you know, I, I, I've actually judged some, some barbecue. I, I know, obviously, flavor profiles, you know, uh, tenderness, presentation. I know all that fun stuff. I actually did the Cleveland um, Barbecue Fest last year. I've judged that with a few other people. So I am familiar with barbecue. I'm, a huge, I'm more of a fan than anything. 
Um, but uh, you, what happens is with these type of morning shows, especially like the Today Show, is you got to remember it's going. The recipe is going from me to my PR people who tweak it, right. who go that go to the Today Show. And the Today Show have their own stylist. She's actually a really cool chick. Then she tweaks it, you know, t- t- says what we can and can't do. <laughs> then, then we have this crazy rehearsal where literally I'm not allowed to make my own fire on the Today Show. They have a fire person that, tell, that, that basically lays down law of what I can and can't do. So I'm like, indirect heat, direct heat. Of course, I'm always indirect heat type of guy. You, if you do remember the, 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 the segment, I, do, I did say slow and low, which yep. I'm a big fan of. Right. But what happened was what happened got, it got lost in translation with the recipe, yes, if you do boil your ribs, then the, the temperature at, at well, I think I said two two ten two twenty would be for that for that amount of time. But it got such lost in translation, and also too remember the 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 the, the episode hook was quick shortcuts for making a memorial barbecue. So I, it's it's almost like I I threw that out there just to kind of appease, you know. And uh, it's so funny because like, I didn't think in a million years because actually boiling your ribs is a huge West Coast thing. And there's actually restaurants, big actually rib restaurants that do that on the West Coast. So, you know, unfortunately, I'm not from the barbecue meccas of the world. I'm actually, from, unfortunately, from Los Angeles, uh, which, thank God, I escaped and, uh, you know, lived, I moved down to San Diego. But uh, so, yeah, so it's totally my bad. Uh, but, you know, there are people out there actually – Surprisingly enough, boiling the ribs. Thank God I just had an option. I personally don't do it, but whatever. Yeah, Kevin Roberts. What do you think, Greg? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kevin Roberts joining us here is going to be the, uh, well, he, he is the host of season two of Barbecue Pitmasters. So here's my uh, quick take in the Not fact after is. This interview. Oh, no, absolutely you are. You can't, <laughs> I'll be you fired can't deny. right after this. Negative. I'll, I'll I'm in good with John Marcus. You're okay, buddy. Uh, no, no. You know what? John, John and Myron are great guys. And you know the judges on the show now, right? Warren Sapp oh, yeah. and yeah, Art yeah. Smith. Right. So uh, no, it, it, it's it's actually going to be a pretty kick-ass show. It's going to be pretty cool, man. So so uh, well, even though you got Knucklehead Kevin on there, it, it's still going to be a pretty good show. <laughs> so here's my take on the boiling ribs: is I've always and I've known obviously people that have boiled ribs get it done quicker. Uh, my mother-in-law is actually a fairly big believer in parboiling oh, uh, chicken. Alive? You guys didn't kill her. <laughs> uh, we, well, we haven't been talking in like ten years, but that's a different story for a different day. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I've always been told, uh, especially by some of the more barbecue uh, elite, that when you boil a rib. You're actually boiling out the fat, which to a lot of the barbecue people means boiling out the flavor. So I can certainly understand where if you're pressed on time or you want to do it quick, and it sounds like you have friends that are very short on time, very short on attention span, and want beer and food ASAFP, which I can certainly uh, respect and appreciate. But to me, to put in the time and you do the low and slow, as you said, and it, it comes out a, a nice succulent smoky bone, which I'm sure, as you said, you've enjoyed at a bunch of different competitions and, and other events that you've been at. Oh, oh, that's that's the only way to do it, to get that nice, what, that pink smoke ring, I guess you guys call it? Yeah. I mean, that's obviously, I mean, that's the golden rule, of course. But as I mentioned, you know, my friends get angry at me. And that's, um, you know, and, 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 and you're absolutely right about that. It does boil out, it renders out the fat, boils out the fat. Um, and that's actually a big West Coast thing, too, is, you know, kind of making a healthier option. I still want my rib, but I want kind of a healthier version of it. Um, and so that's kind of how, where that kind of technique came in, too, um, or why they do it, I'm sure, on the West Coast. Um, obviously, slow and low, the longer the better, obviously, obviously. But uh, as I said, uh, you know, if I get up at, you know, 10 o'clock, watch, I'll start watching the game. My buddies are over by noon. The game starts at one. If, if the food's not out by one, I'm getting just hell. I mean, <laughs> so I'm like in this kind of quandary of like getting you know good food out quick, really. So that's why I don't bar- that's why I don't barbecue for my friends anymore. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And I think probably where the biggest uh, the biggest downfall is the fact that if you, if if Kevin Roberts just would have came on as you know the food guy doing some quick munchies and that's it. I don't think any of this even becomes an issue. And the, the unfortunate fact, well, not unfortunate for you because you're the host, but unfortunately you're introduced as host of Barbecue Pitmasters. You turn around and do a barbecue segment, uh, more or less. And then all these people that are fanatical about it see it and are like, oh my God, we can't right. believe it. What is this guy hosting? Blah, blah, blah. But nonetheless, I mean, we can only, we can only beat that horse. And obviously you're, you're manning up and saying what you're good at and, and what you're a fan of. And, Absolutely. I mean, yeah. And I, as I said, I've already gotten beaten up by John and uh, Myron. So it's like, you know, just I, I, I you know, I can take it all now. So those two chase me around the set for about four <laughs> hours. 
And there you have some of the best moments from June the 29th, 2010. If you'd like to hear the rest of this show, head on over to the bbqcentralshow.com. Link in the show notes. It'll take you right there. While you're over on the internet, make sure you check out The Butcher Shop on their Facebook page, facebook.com slash The Butcher Shop. Shop spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. Mention The Barbecue Central Show, and you're going to save 10% off your entire order. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, on the best moments of The Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. I'm your host, John Solberg. I look forward to talking to you again soon. <laughs>